Hey there everyone, this is Darkjail and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem! Today, uh, we're gonna start Chapter 1. The Apprentice Tactician Dark and the Young Swordfighter Lin. A strange pair on an even stranger journey. To prepare for the long road ahead, they go to Bulgar, the commercial center of Sake. Unbeknownst to Lin, she will discover something that will alter her life forever. Chapter 1 Footsteps of Fate <laughs> the, the chapter beginning music gives me a chill. It's funny. Dark, over here! This is Bulga, the biggest city in all of Sake. We should purchase uh, we should purchase supplies for our journey. Oh my, what a dazzling vision of loveliness. Huh? Wait, oh beautiful swan, will you not favor me with your name? Or oh, better yet, your company? Where are you from, Sir Knight? That you speak so freely to a stranger? Ha! I thought you'd never ask. I am from Lycia. I hail from the Kaelin Canton, home to men of passion and fire. Shouldn't that be home to callow hoofs with loose tongues? With loose tongues? Oh, you're even lovely when you're cruel. Let's go, Doc. I've nothing more to say. Wait, please! Sane, hold your tongue. Ah, oh, can't, my boon companion! Why so severe an expression? If your manner were more, were, uh, were more serious, I wouldn't have to be so severe. We still have a mission to complete, Sane. I know that, but how could I remain silent in the presence of such beauty? It would have been discourteous. What do you know of courtesy? Excuse me, you're blocking the road. If you would be so kind as to move your horses. Of course, my apologies. Thank you. You, at least, seem honorable enough. Hmm? Pardon me, but I feel we've met before. I beg your pardon? Hey, no fair, Kent. I saw her first! <laughs> it seems there are no decent men amongst Lisha Lisha's knights. Let's go, Dark. I've run out of patience. Uh, sure. Uh, bye, guys. <laughs> Wait, please. It's not like that. Sane, you lout! Huh? Not like that? I thought you were. I am not you. Come, we must follow her. I suspect she might be. Be, be what? She's our mission? You're joking! What? Wait! <laughs> oh, that was fun. Sorry, that, that was real fun. Run! We're being pursued! Could it be those knights from town? Uh, maybe. No, I don't think so. No, it's not them. Those men are out for blood. <laughs> Aren't you the pretty one? Your name is Lindis, is it not? What, what What did you call me? Who are you? Such waste. An absolute waste. The things I do for gold. Oh well. Time to die, darling. Come on out, boys. Whoa, that's many of them. And one of us. Oh no, there are more than I can handle. Meh, nah, you're swift enough, you can handle anything. But I'm not give up. Hey, there she is. Huh? What? You finally caught up. <laughs> Hold, you there. What is your business? Such numbers against a girl? Cowards, every one of you. You... You're from... We can discuss... Oh, discuss. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> we can discuss this. We can discuss that later. It appears these ruffians mean to do you harm. If it's a fight they want, then let them look at to me. Stand back. I'll take care of this. No, this is my fight. Stay out of my way. Uh, I, I could, I. Hey, don't ignore me. I, I could strategize. Well, I can't just stand here do, and do nothing. I have a solution. You there. Me? Command us. Yay, thank you for talking to me. <laughs> I am Kent, a knight of Lysha. This is my companion. Oh. <laughs> what am I reading? My companion is sane. We will follow your orders in this battle. Is this acceptable, my lady? Yes, it is. Dark and I... Oh, Dark and I will lead. Let's go! <laughs> oh. Even though I'm not very good at it, I love voicing characters. Uh... Yeah, so... The way... Uh, you want to proceed with this uh, stage... Um, you have to abuse the terrain. Uh, at the bottom right of the screen, you can see that, like, like when I'm on plane, death is zero, avoid is zero. But when I'm on forest, death is one, and avoid is twenty. And that works for a lot uh, of places in the game. You have to be like medic meticulous. Is that the word? Like, yeah, like you see, mountains got thirty avoidance, so. Stuff like that is good, but it's harder to walk over mountains, much like horses have trouble walking over forests. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to do this. Uh, yeah, let's see his stats. Yeah, see, he got only 16% chance to hit, so I am going to proceed and attack him. And if he, by miracle, hits me, I don't know what I'm gonna think. Phew! Way to go, Lin! Sweet moves! So yeah, now Lin got 10 XP, but I'm not going to finish this guy with her, because I want these guys to get more XP. Ah, low chance, that's bad. Uh, what do, what do? I don't know. I, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna try it, and if it fails, I'm gonna send Kant. Way to go, Sane! <laughs> yeah, 30 XP, nice. And with Kant, I cannot reach that other guy over there, but I'm going to stand in forest. Uh, just so uh, my avoid is up if they can reach me, you know? So yeah, I think... This guy is in the forest, right? Yeah, he is. So it will be, like, not very tactful to go there with Kent. Because he has one defense more and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put Kent in the forest. Uh, switch his item to the Iron Sword, because swords are better against axes. And I'm gonna make him wait here. That way this guy will be baited by Kent. And with these other two... I'm going to lure the other enemies, but I'm I, I'm going to stay in the forest just to make sure everything's on Kidori. Hey, my strategized war! Can you hit twice? No, he cannot. Well, he will get more XP that way, anyways. Ouch! He got hit. That's sad. Uh, probably because it's a lance. Yeah. I really need to give that guy a sword, but I I only have one sword with Lindis, don't I? Yeah. And... Yeah. Oh well. I'm going to place Kent there. And attack! Hopefully he won't hit me. Yeah! <laughs> the RNG is on my side. Ah. Uh, do I want to hit this guy? He has 11 HP, yeah, uh, 10 HP, sorry. I have 11 attack, 
So I'm gonna do that. Oh, by the way, uh, by reviewing the the footage, I noticed that the missing, like the two missing stats, by well, three missing stats in reality, are attack, defense, and attack speed. Uh, attack and defense are combined in the empty stat that you you see. So yeah, this guy can go up to there. I'm going to put Lindis there to uh, act as a bait. Oh no! Not sane! Haha, <laughs> you missed! But now Kent will be low on XP. Uh -huh. Yeah! Resistance! That's good. Because you don't want your people to be brittle to one particular uh, attack way. Nice! Oh no, Lin got plenty of experience. I'm gonna have to kill the boss with uh, Kent, I think. Ah, oh, dang nabbit. Uh, let me move Lin over there. Hopefully I can go there with... Yes, I can, okay. Yeah, a hundred percent chance to hit. That's good enough. Is it? Isn't it? Hopefully it's good enough. Hang on, I'm gonna replace the camera just a bit. Yeah, music! So yeah, when you're in a victory situation, like when you you are winning, basically, uh, the music changes for like, Hey, we have to charge in! Let's go! You know, kind of music. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to... Let's see... 11, no chance to crit. Yeah, perfect. I'm going to stand there with Lin and bait the first turn of attack from Zugu. <laughs> That's funny. And I'm gonna wait with Sane because his HP is low and he got the level, so yeah. Hopefully she won't crit. Accursed Knights, always tempering an other's affair. Ha, <laughs> you missed, you loaf. There we go. Okay, uh, this turn I will move in this away and let Kent have the final blow. Mm. Dang a bit. Oh wait, hang on, I have an idea. Ah, oh, darn it! <laughs> yeah, Kent is just a tiny bit too weak, so I'm gonna wait here with him and hopefully uh, that's gonna work. Yeah! And next turn, I get the killing blow. With a ton of XP! Uh, the reason as to why I decided not to give the killing blow to Lin... Uh, Lin is what we call a Lord. And in this game, Lords are always in the map. So you have to... Uh, like, you have to... Like, she will be maxed out at the end of the game, unless I never use her. So, uh... Yeah! Go, Kent! <laughs> Blast! There was only supposed to be a lone girl. Yeah! Oh. Only resistance. Oh well. That's the last of them. Fantastic work, Dark. Thank you. And now for these knights of Lycia. Where you going? You were going to share your story with me. Yes. We have ventured from Kaelin and Lisha in search of someone. Lisha, that's the country beyond the mountains in the southwest, isn't it? Correct. We've come as messenger to the Lady Madeline who eloped with a nomad some 19 years ago. Madeline? Our lord, the Marquis of Kaelin. Uh, I forgot the apostrophe, yes. Our lord, the Marquis of Kaelin's only daughter. He was heartbroken. His own daughter will abandon, abandon him so. 
Eventually, the Marquis simply declared he had no daughter. And then, this year, we received a letter from Lady Madeline. It said that she, her husband, and their daughter were living happily on the Sake Plains. The Marquis was ecstatic to learn he had a granddaughter of 18 years old. Oh, phew, she's 18. <laughs> I remember the smile on his face when he announced that he'd suddenly become a grandfather. The granddaughter's name is Lindis. Oh, how convenient. This was also the name of the Marquis's wife, who passed away in an early age. In an early age. Lindis? That she would uh, that she should bear this name taught the Marquis's art. Now, his only wish is to meet his daughter's family at least once. This is why we're here. We didn't know that Lady Madeline died a few days after sending her a letter. We only learned this shortly af after we arrived here in Bulga. But we also learned all was not lost. Her daughter yet lives. Did I read this right? Hang on. But we also learned all was... Oh yeah, I read it right. Sorry. <laughs> We heard that she was living alone in, on the plains. I I knew it immediately. You are the Lady Lindis. Why would you think that? Your resemblance to your departed mother is remarkable. What? Did you know my mother? I'm sorry to say I've never met her directly, but I saw her portraits in Castle Kailin. The rest of my tribe, I was always Lin. Uh, to the rest... <laughs> To the rest of my tribe, I was always Lin. But when I was with my parents, when when it was just the three of us, I was Lindis. It, it's all so strange. I was all alone in the world. And now, I have a grandfather. Lindis. I never thought I would hear that name again. Wait! That bandit! He called me Lindis too! What? How could he have? He was a henchman of Lord Lundgren, Lundgren wasn't he? L Lundgren? Who's that? He is the Marquis's younger brother. Everyone assumed the Lady Madeline was gone forever. This made Lord Lundgren heir to the Marquis's title. To be blunt, my lady, your existence is an obstacle to your granduncle's ambitions. That's... Uh, uh, but I have no interest in inheriting any title. Unfortunately, your granduncle is not the sort of man to believe that. I believe the attempts on your life will persist. What should I do? Accompany us to Kailin. Continuing on this way is dangerous. I feel I have little choice. I will go with you. What about me? Hey, what? Well, Dark. Oh, thank you for thinking about me. I'm sorry. This changes everything. What will you do, Dark? Y you want me to decide? Uh, yeah, why not? You know, I'll tag along. Of course, your companionship will do much to ease my journey, but... It's going to be dangerous. Yeah, you know, as long as at some point I get one of those horses like the Knight's Guy, I, I will be practically happy to not walk all the time. You know, I'm lazy. You'll come? Are you sure? Yeah. Kinda. Thank you! Okay, sure. Let me ask... <laughs> Let me ask once again for your friendship and your aid. Ah, uh, you have it. Of course. Yeah! So... We're done with the second video! Yeah! Uh, thank you for watching! And join me next time on Let's Play Fire Emblem! Bye-bye!